Hey everybody, it's B, and today we're going to do something a little bit different from what I normally show on my channel. Halloween is coming up, and I want to include you all in just some fun, some play. You know, something that I've really been learning very vividly <laughs> this year, this month especially, has been that it's just so important for us as adults to play and have fun and do things outside of our normal seriousness. So today we're just going to be trying on costumes. I, as you all know, am something of a spicy accountant, which means that I actually have like a wardrobe full of all different kinds of like costumes and pieces that I would love to share. And I actually have a few new things that I haven't used yet that I would also like to show off. So today we're just doing a costume contest and you're gonna vote for your favorite one in the comments. It's that easy. And I would also love to hear what you're dressing up as. Tell me, tell me what you're up to. I wanna know. Because as grown-ups, I think we forget that dressing up isn't just for kids. You know what I mean? Halloween is not just for kids. And um, who says they get to have all the fun? You know what I mean? My audio is gonna be a little bit weird on this one because I'm not using a mic because I'm changing clothes a lot and I know that I'm gonna forget to reapply my mic. So instead, we're just focusing on my camera audio. I hope that's all right. Who am I kidding? Of course it's all right, you guys don't care. <laughs> it's just me. But before I change into my first costume, I just wanna say happy holidays and um, I hope that you're really getting a chance to enjoy this one. All right, let's get started. I have gained some mass since the last time I wore this. All right. First up is a costume that fits even better somehow than it did the first time I wore it. Um, we've got our Spider-Man costume. Now, for those of you who've been around since the old, old days, I had a different Spider-Man costume. It was an extra small, and the last time that I filmed in it, I actually ripped it in the booty. So, um, this is the new Spider-Man costume. It is a newer version. It is the Tom Holland version, um, the more, re more recent Tom Holland version, I think from No Way Home. I put it on first in 2022. Two? Yeah, in 2022. Um, after top surgery, before I stepped away from my spicy job, and uh, putting it on again after having gained some like legitimate muscle mass is really interesting. You can actually see there's a, a spot here, maybe you can't see it, um, where it actually, it kind of has like a little pokey outy spot um, because I've got pecs, <laughs> which is such an exciting and like affirming experience. Hi kitty kitty. You know I love you? Yeah. What a good girl. Yeah. So if you want to see me in this costume, vote down below. I have to use my hypermobile powers in order to <sighs> unzip. Alright, I promise not all of my costumes will be thirst traps. <laughs> Just... That's the disclaimer, is that a lot of them, I guess, will be. Um, but, so option number two is my sexy Hamburglar costume, which I actually got in 2019. I didn't have the chance to wear it uh, that year because I was, like, drowning in dysphoria. Um, and then 2020 happened, uh, and then 2021 happened, and then 2022 happened, and then 2023 happened, and I finally moved here, and I was still really depressed, I didn't leave the house. Um, or celebrate Halloween really in any way. And now, here we are, 2024. And I finally have shot some content in this thing, and it does have a face mask. I can't find it because, I'll be honest, this is another one that's like a little bit overstimulating. Hey, sweetheart. She's really getting in on the, uh, the filming action today. Yeah. Um, it is one of those ones that's overstimulating. It's on my neck, it's on my hands, it's on my toes. Uh, it has a hat, which is really cute. I like this hat. Um, but it is a bit much. Also, the hat is like too big for my head, which is a bummer, because it's actually a really cute hat. Um, so when I took it off, I literally just like peeled it off and threw it in my costumes bin. So I have the mask somewhere. Um, but yes, yeah, so the Hamburglar 
costume. Um, let me know if you want to see me in this one for Halloween. Um, and yeah, let's go to the next one. As a side note, one thing I really like about the Hamburglar costume is it's not something you would expect. Who would think of, like, making the Hamburglar sexy? I think that that is just awesome. <laughs> Alright, option number three is cute and cozy and less overstimulating than some of the other options, but also has no pockets, which is kind of a bummer. Um, this is my cow costume. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a period of time where Hu Cow, H U C O W, was super popular. Um, and now I think it's going out of style because whenever I go into Goodwill, I see cow stuff. Um, which is where I got this guy for like three bucks. So, um, yeah, this is the the little the little cow costume. I think it's super cute. Um, it is very warm, so if I were wandering, you know, picking up candy in the Halloween, you know, in the Northwest cold vibes, um, this is definitely more something I would be going for for sure. Uh, and it's cute. I mean, it's even got a little tail. How adorable. So if you want to see, if you want to vote for this costume, the hoop cow costume, or just the cow costume, uh, comment that down below. <laughs> I'm on my third costume, and I just realized that I should probably, like, given the fact that I don't dress up often, I should probably do, like, TikTok dances in these or something, but I'm on a time crunch, so it's something for future me to deal with. That is future me's problem. Good luck, future me. I'm leaving you a shit show, and you'll figure it out. You're industrious. <sighs> I'm screaming. Um, my camera ran out of battery, and lately, when it runs out of battery, it deletes the file that it's been filming. There were three costumes that I put on and showed you and then put away. Mm, and they're not recorded. And they're the last three costumes, so. Oh my god, I have so much shit to do today. It's fine, it's fine. Let's look at the time. It's 7.30 right now. That means I have time. I have about half an hour. So, I'm gonna speed through those costumes again. <laughs> And hopefully editing doesn't take too long and get this video published. Um, yeah, this is, ugh, I'm frustrated and I am uh, bummed out, but it's fine. It's fine. I get to show you the costumes again and we'll just do a take two. Back at it again with the Kigurumis, y'all. Alright, so for those of you who uh, were here in 2017, you may remember I had a rainbow cat Kigurumi. It was super cute. It stopped fitting because I gained hella mass when I got on tea. Um, <clears throat> but uh, now I have a new Kigurumi, and it is Perry the Platypus. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love Phineas and Ferb. I uh, have probably seen every episode of Phineas and Ferb at least twice, and I just recently learned actually that there are movies, so for the holiday season I'm going to be watching through all of those, and I'll probably leave some, like, videos up here about it, I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, but if I were to be out prowling around for candy, Halloween night, just me, uh, this is what I would go in, 100%. The Inland Northwest gets super cold, especially at night, and your finger bones hurt. I mean, all of your bones hurt, but especially your finger bones, because they're, like, exposed, they don't have a lot of, like, fat around them. Um, but these little platypus gloves, um, are, well, mittens are really nice, <laughs> and, uh, enough that my hands are actually sweating right now. So, um, yeah, this is probably the costume I would choose, um, if I was just going around. Downside is the tail. I mean, that's just a little teeny tiny thing. You can't even see it. You can't even see it. How do I show you my tail? Look, there's the tail. She's, uh, she's small. Um, so I, you know, would probably want to make the tail, uh, bigger. It's not like I'm compensating for anything. Um, Alright, if you want to vote for Perry the Platypus, leave a comment. Alright, so, on the theme of Phineas and Ferb and Perry the Platypus, we have an angsty teen 
Doof. Doofenshmirtz, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz is a trans mask icon. He is baby. Alright, we love him. I did not intend for it to be as, uh, honestly, as cool looking as it does. Initially, I was going to wear a black turtleneck. Um, I had one, but, uh, I'm pretty sure I got rid of it, which makes sense because wearing turtlenecks is super awful and overstimulating. So, um, instead we've got this really cool sort of, like, one-piece thing going on. Um, that is too loose in the booty, hence the pants, and, um, and then we've got this, uh, I called it earlier a pharmacist cloak. Um, I realize now that this is called a lab coat, um, but I like calling it a pharmacist cloak, it's kind of based, so that's what I'm going to do. This is a, a pharmacist cloak, um, and just a pair of jeans, and like, just ratty old jeans. And this look would be completed with these yellow docks, which um, are still not broken in. But I would do it anyway. I would suffer for my art. If you want to vote, if you want to vote for angsty teen doof, leave it in the comments down below. All right. The other costume that I had um, that I showed off, but my Camry deleted the file was an Angel Dust costume. So for those of you who don't know, Hasbin Hotel, Angel Dust is a character. Um, interestingly, my kid introduced me to Hasbin Hotel, um, which maybe makes me a bad parent, um, <laughs> but uh, I, I absolutely loved it. Um, Angel Dust is a very interesting character. Um, I have a whole analysis that I want to do on Hasbin, actually, from a sex worker perspective. Um, in that I don't really appreciate the way that they wrote, um, this character, uh, because it's the typical, like, you know, sex worker stereotypes of, like, oh, this person is, like, using drugs and has a pimp and, but also it's hell, so anyway, I'll go into it at another time in another video. Point is, um, I figured why not do an Angel Dust cosplay. The problem with this cosplay, and the reason why I'm not doing it again, is threefold. Um, part one requires a wig. Alright, that's already overstimulating. Um, problem number two, it's very tight-fitting, which is also very overstimulating. And problem number three is, um, the way I do it, it requires a breast form, and getting in and out of that is as difficult, is almost as difficult as getting in and out of a binder. Um, so when I did it once, I was like, this is, I'm putting it on once, and I'm taking it off once, and then we're not going to touch this again for another couple of weeks. So, um, you guys aren't going to get to see that, but for those of you, oh, and also, it's, it was a little bit too steamy for YouTube anyway. For those of you who are interested in seeing it, uh, I will put it up in my MV club for those of you who are, like I said, interested in seeing it. Um, I shot a little video with my camera of me bouncing around with the breast form and fucking around with it because that is very fun to play with when it is on. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely not putting it back on again uh, anytime soon because oh my god, it's so much work. Uh, and it's hot. So um, I am saving up for a husk uh, cosplay that I would like to do. And you can contribute to that on my MV and my items. There's actually an option to pay f for the complete or part of the Husk cosplay that I want to do. Husk is also from Hasbin Hotel, and I absolutely adore him. He's my favorite character in Hasbin Hotel. I always love characters like him. I'm always drawn to them. Um, so figures, I would want to do cosplay of him. I want to do a gender bend and non gender bend cosplay. Uh, for some videos uh, on MV, so for those of you who are interested, check it out. And for those of you who aren't, that is okay. Not everybody needs to uh, watch my content, because it's really, really not. That concludes my video for today. Those are all my costumes. This is actually the last video that I am making for Vlogoween, and it was really nice to end on a fun note, even if things did get a little bit weird with my camera. Um, so, yeah, if you like what you saw today and you want to see more, please know that this is not the usual type of content that I make for my channel, although I am willing to entertain doing a video like this once a month. Um, usually, my channel, I talk about writing, I talk about books, uh, I talk about 
self-publishing. I do body doubling videos on Fridays and Saturdays. Fridays are chore body doubling and Saturdays are riding body doubling, so that's typically what I make. Although I will also be approaching uh, making sort of a once a month trans video because you guys seem to really eat that shit up. Uh, so why not, I guess? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, that's it, really. Um, thank you so much. Feel free to, like I said, check out my MV, check out my Patreon, subscribe down below, uh, and please, please, please have a wonderful and safe Halloween. I'll see you soon. Hey there, thanks for watching today's video. In case you haven't heard, I recently released a set of new and old short stories through Storydown Publications' annual thriller anthology, Distant Tales. This year's publication is titled Distant Tales, Second Chapter, and I would love it if you would check it out. I did the editing and formatting on this thing, and I'm super proud of how it turned out. And of course, it has some amazing stories that will definitely get your blood pumping for the holiday season. As a side note, if you're an author who's looking for community, guidance, or publishing services, feel free to check out Story Den Publications. I work with them as an editor and formatter on a regular basis, and the founder, Tai Hakobo, is a close personal friend of mine, and I really believe in what she's trying to do. Her goal is really just to make indie authors' dreams come true at an affordable rate with high-quality services, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, check them out at the link below in the description. Thanks, and have a great day. Let's try again. Oh, fuck.